can now tell what game I'm playing next, so that's nice. Uh, just give me one second to sort this all out. Um, just uh, give me one second. I'm just sorting the last few things out. Uh... I'm in full screen right now because, again, I'm just trying to figure the last few things out. Um, for some reason, I cannot set the game to where it is not full screen. And I'm not sure why that is, but I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> um, if not, I will roll with it because I do actually have a, um, a solution to that. But, hey, Shavis. Yeah, just... Give me one second to figure all this out, and then we will start. So, um, I'm almost done. Let's see. Um, should be close. Again, just give me a quick second. And all right, I think we're just about ready to start. Again, apologies, I'm not reading chat right now. I just need one moment to. Okay, I think we're good. Um, so yeah, hey everyone. Today we're starting a brand new game. I don't know if Han is here, but unfortunately, her guess of Castlevania Anniversary Collection was incorrect because we are playing Ukulele and the Impossible Layer. This is one of my favorite 2D platformers that I've played in a long time, and I'm really excited to share this all with you guys. So just give me one second, I, I can close the door. Um, Um, I swear, okay, here it is. Sorry, I'm just setting up my thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Han. It, it is, it is in fact, Ukulele the Impossible Layer. Don't worry, we will play Castlevania Anniversary Collection at some point. Sorry about the setup. I was not expecting Ukulele to be forced full screen, but we're just going to roll with it at this point. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop out the chat on a auxiliary computer that I have. And that is how I'm going to read chat. And then after, other than that, we're good. So yeah, I'm just gonna quickly pop out chat, mute this. And we'll be good to go. Uh, let me see if I can find a way to pop this out. Uh, okay. Okay, there we go. I now have pop out chat. Yeah, it's like Donkey Kong Country, exactly. All right, so I'm gonna quickly set this to. Sorry about that. All right, so I'm gonna set this to game, and I'm gonna quickly start the game. Um, tell me if you guys can see it because I basically am unable to, um, correctly see both the chat and the game. So can you guys see the game real correctly? If it, if we're good. Then if this if this looks fine, sounds good, we're good to go. Just I just need to confirm that the game looks as it should. Ukulele in the impossible lair. Alright. It's good? Alright, we're good then. We're gonna start. Uh again, sorry for the quick sorry for the slight wait. Uh capital B is causing trouble again. We've gotta stop him. Um Check out how it looks on my end. Okay, we're good. I think this looks excellent for me personally. So, let's start the game. Uh, by the way, this is going to be a 100% run because, spoiler alert, getting the achievements in this game is not difficult, as far as I remember. If it turns out that those, because the one thing I was worried about, I don't like having to do, I don't think it's an achievement. So, I think we should be okay. But yeah, 
I absolutely love this game. Uh, I remember playing the original ukulele, and unfortunately I did not back it, but I remember liking it. I'll talk more about the original later, but this game in particular is really good. Whoa, we've arrived in the Royal Stingdom. Get it? Stingdom? Kingdom? Aha, it's the Dynamic Duo. Capital B, we're here to take you down. Again. Yuka and Laylee, you're here. It does everything you Help me stop Capital B, he's created a B mind control device. Well, that's interesting. The Hive Mind, get it? Sounds fancy, should we be worried? I mean, she literally said it was a B mind control device. What do you think? Yes, you will use it to enslave all the bees in the Royal Stingdom. The last thing Capital B needs is a larger workforce. I'd love to listen to you lot drone on. Get it? Because mind control is not. But I've got some worlds to conquer. Boy, that nearly hurt us. Wah, I'm just warming up. Quick, this way, press A to jump, and look out for traps. Yeah, spoiler alert, puns are a running theme in this game. All right, Laylee, let's go help Queen BB. All right, so here are our controls. All right, we're gonna get to change the options. Display, um, no, I do not want full screen. Um, let's turn the resolution down, please. Oh, nope, not that small. Uh, okay, now it's really small. Hold on. Um, turn quality medium. Uh. Alright. Alright, this is still a little small on my end, so I'm gonna try and fix this. I don't wanna quit out of here. Nope, that is not what I wanted to do. Hold on. Sorry, I'm, just I I'm, I'm still trying to fix this. Uh, how do I get the resolution back up? Yeah, because that's really small. Hold on. Let me try turning the full screen on again and then off. Uh, that's still really small. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to... I'm still trying to figure this out myself. Uh, but I, um, I, gu I guess I would have... Alright, I do not want decent. At all. That's gonna just look, that's gonna make the screen quality worse. Uh, all right, I'll turn on the full screen for a second. Yeah, this is David Y. Um, sorry, sorry about all the technical issues. All right, we're gonna we're gonna roll with this. This should work. Um, sound. This is perfect. Oh yeah, we have classic dialogue enabled. It's like uh, 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 I don't want that. I want this. Uh, eight bit level music. I will talk about that later. Um, controls. Yeah, I need to change. Um, A jump, X attack, X pull. Alright, perfect. I think we're good. Cool. I'm a little concerned about the frame drops, because that is pretty chunky. Yeah, the 8-bit op music option is actually a new thing. There's a, there's a music creator known as, um, what's his name? Uh, Tater Tot Tunes, that's what it, that's what it is. Uh, there's a music creator known as Tater Tot Tunes, and, um, he actually remixed the entire soundtrack in 8-bit, which is really cool, honestly. Hope the, uh, sorry if the quality isn't great, but I'm still trying to sort all this out. Ah, Boris, my favorite employee, Yuka will never get past you. Goodbye. No, you bashed Boris. Grr, try this crushing defeat. So yeah, we have to roll through that in order to get to it. Whoops. Yeah, Miss Capital P, get it? I love, I love the fun of this game. Alright, so yeah, you can actually, I, I messed it up there, but you can actually roll jump off of it. So, like that. It's a move from, it's a move very similar to that in Donkey Kong Country, which is kind of cool. Still a little annoying with the quality. Still, the rest of the frame rate isn't great. 
Great, you're here. I railed, I rallied my B Italian heel to help us. Drat, the B Italian shield. That sounds useful, but let's see it handle this. Sure, time for B enforcements. Let's see your B Italian built with real firepower. Uh-oh. Oh dear. You'll never get past that alive. <coughs> Do you really need capital B defeated? Maybe he'd be a good ruler? No. You saw what he did in the first game? No. You're not, you chickens. Borrow my Italian heal. He'll take all the hits for you. Wow. Literally called them chickens. Ouch. Take them and stop that creep. Whoa, we're all powered up. Come on, Yuka. Let's test it out. Onwards. Yar. Yeah. This, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I really wanna turn down the, let's turn down the flow, see if that helps. Um, Alright, this, this should make the game run a little bit better. Alright, so yeah, essentially, this shield is amazing. So yeah, basically what it does is it, um, it, it, the, the B-Talion is essentially a shield, this protects us from hits. So you, gotta, you, have, you have to use it in order to basically make sure you don't get hit by something. I'm nervous because there's a lot of frame drops going on. I don't know if you guys notice it. And you can ground pound as well using the ZL button. Or for me, it's the ZL button. First that beat Italian. I've got my own. Hang on. Cheaters, you wouldn't have made it this far without your invincibility life hack. Wow, literally calling us out. But you're forgetting something. Time for me to activate the hive mind. Yoink! Uh oh. Well, that's kind of a problem. Thanks for warming them up. These Italian shield guards work for me now. Wah, it tickles. I'll use the B Italian and imprison what I don't need. No. Now it's your turn to be mind controlled, Queen Bleedy. Prepare to be a mindless drone. Interesting choice of words. You monster. Well, that didn't work. Out of power. Wait here while I recharge my staff. You'll enslave the royal kingdom. It's up to you now, Yuka. Go kick his bee behind. But be careful. You have no bee tally this time. Alright, um. Sorry. I need, I need to see if there's a way I can really make the. the I'm gonna turn on the resolution. Okay, yeah, this works much better. A boss door. Let's press up to enter and go kick his... I missed that last part. We'll see, hon. All right, yeah, the game's running better now that I, uh... Actually, I just realized I can... I, I actually should really close out my Google Chrome tab. That's probably taking part of it. But I think this actually is working pretty okay now. Now the hive mind is recharged. I can whoop your butts. We beat you before in the first game, and we can do it again. You won't be so lucky this time. Brace yourself. Here I come. All right, so for those of you who don't know, this is actually a sequel to the 2017 3D platformer, um, uh, Ukulele, which was already a spiritual successor to Banjo-Kazooie, the very classic 3D platformer from the N64 era. Gura! So essentially, the storyline this time is they found one of the uh, tomes from. Oh, they found one of the tomes from uh, Ukulele, because in Ukulele they went into books in order to uh, basically. Um, Yuka and Lele were at like a. Were, lived on like a, on an island, and Capital B was trying to steal all the books. So that he would find the one book, which is, oh, there are you, Doug Beats, you got lucky, but let's see you handle the next stage of my devious plan B. 
Whoops. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna get far enough. Um, and essentially what happened was that, um, while that, so they, they, so Capital B stole their book, including the one book, which they could, he could use to rewrite history. Obviously that's not good. And you could literally stop him. They went into various books in order to, you know, get pages back. And it was a pretty base, it was pretty, you know, by the numbers 3D platformer. They basically found another book and they went into this and now they have to, you know, help Queen B and whatever. So, all right, let's continue. Um, this is actually, you guys will see, but spoiler alert, I am not going to beat this level. Uh, I'm just gonna say that right now. I am not going to beat this level. Also, I'm doing it wrong, which is, you know, part of it. Okay, I definitely did that wrong. Give me Laylee, give me Laylee. Okay, well, Laylee's dead, Laylee's gone. So that's already a problem. Yeah, I know, right? All right, and I'm dead. And so Queen B saves us. And that, <laughs> capital B must love libraries. Yeah, right? So that seemed like a pretty crazy start to the game, right? Well, that's because that's actually the impossible layer, like in the game's title. Uh, Queen B will explain it right now, actually. Wow. Oof. Oh, oh, oh. Quick, don't just lie there. You must return to the Royal Stingdom and stop Capital B. Ugh, can't we call it a draw? <laughs> He's powering up the hive mind, which allows him to control all the bees in my world. He'll be able to rule my entire royal stingdom if he does that. But that impossible layer is impossible. I mean, it's literally in the name. We don't stand a chance without your bee talion protecting us. Hmm, I think I can help with that. If I can pull out the chapters with the, with the imprisoned bee talion, then you can go rescue them. Stand back. Hang. Tell me if like the quality is good and you guys don't have frame drop for it. Uh oh, it's going to explode. And S. Well, one lighter right there. Ouch. That guy got crushed. You did it! Quick, don't just lie there. Ah, <laughs> nice one, Laylee. Ugh. Right, let's start by rescuing a Beatalion member from this chapter. Leave it to us, Queenie. We got this. All right, so essentially the main gimmick of this game, first of all, this is a, this is like a 3D overworld map. It's pretty similar to like Zelda or something like that. But the whole gimmick of this game is that that level we were just in, the impossible layer, that's the final level of the game. It's also the very first level you play. And you can attempt it at any time you want. You can, li you can literally theoretically beat the game right now just by going into the impossible lair. However, as you can see just by the beginning of that, that's very hard to do. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go around to the levels because every level you beat, you get a member of the B Italian, which is essentially like it, it gives you an extra hit point. So if you have two Bs, you have two extra hit points. Uh, there's a maximum of 48. So if you have 48 Bs, then you get 48 hit points. And obviously that makes the level from in near impossible to eh, difficult but doable. So I'm really looking forward to that, honestly. And yeah, like I said, you can, like I said, you can theoretically beat the game right now. And I have seen people do it. It is ridiculous. I have never done it myself and never intend to because it's insanity. But yeah, you can beat the game right now. But anyways, let's let's just head into chapter one, Capital Causeway. This is the actual first level. The first of my battalion is inside that level. Please return. I missed the rest of, rest of it, but yeah, let's go into the actual first level, chapter one, Capital Causeway. So as you can see, this is you know it looks much more manageable compared to something like. Uh, don't, do you think? Uh, oh yeah, I, I've I, again I've seen speedrunners um, beat the impossible layer on their first try. So anyways, you can. So there's there's the, these are the feathers. So these are basically the coins or the bananas from Mario or Donkey Kong. Spoiler alert! I'm gonna be comparing this game a lot to um, Super Mario 
and like Super Mario World and Donkey Kong Country because this game is heavily, heavily inspired by it. Um, so like I said, you have these feathers, which are like coins. Um, you have these bells, which essentially are, I like to call Laylee back, because similar to Donkey Kong Country, as you saw in the first level, if you take a hit, um, you basically lose Laylee. And, and, like, and Laylee is really important because she allows you to do stuff like a double jump, she, she allows you to, like, float in midair, and she's just overall very, very useful, so you want to keep Laylee around as much as possible. It's like the Diddy Kong of this game. Like I said, a lot of comparisons to Donkey Kong. Oh, uh, we can even pick up and shoot things, similar to how Donkey Kong can pick up barrels. It's basically anti Donkey Kong country. Like it, it's 100% that. There's look, they even have like the freaking barrel cannons from, from Donkey Kong country. I mean, it's the comparisons are almost too easy. There's also like Twit coins in every level, which I'll get into what they do later. But we're gonna have to get all the quick coins at the end of the day, so. In fact, I think I actually missed some already, but we'll we'll uh we'll go back and get them later. I like to look at this as Donkey Kong Country 3 in the decade, and then returns in Tropical Freeze as one and two. So yeah, as you can see, I actually missed a twit coin. We'll, we'll go back to it later. But yeah, there's five quick points in every level, similar to Donkey Kong Country, you can get them all, you can use them to unlock stuff, and yeah. And those, those guys are called checkmates, by the way. Not like the chess term, but the, um, like, check, like, checkpoint except as a bait, which is kind of funny. So let's, let's get these feathers. So that'll give us another feather. And by the way, feathers do actually serve a use in this. Like, they're not just collectibles. They do actually have a legitimate use in this game. Like, they're not like the coins in Mario. So, we'll, we'll be trying to collect a lot of those. All right. you, you definitely want to get these blue feathers as often as you can, because... Or, or any of these colored feathers as often as you can, because they often give you... Like, for example, there's Switch Point number three. Which is, you know, pretty useful. Uh, and a checkmate. And yeah, just listen to this soundtrack, man. It's so good. It's composed by the awesome David Wise and Grant Kirkhope, composers of Donkey Kong Country and Benjo Kazooie. And it's just, oh, this, this soundtrack is so good. All right, there's quick coin number four. All right, so right now we're only missing quick coin number one. Uh-oh, and that's what happens if you get hit by Layla. Or if you get hit while well, Layla's here. Obviously, don't want that to happen. Right, I'm glad the game is running a lot better now. I know the quality isn't great, but again, this is the sacrifice I need to make. Uh, yeah, it definitely has a really cool feel to it. Wait, I have a feeling I didn't want to kill that guy. Alright, well, man, I hope there's nothing up there. Oh, maybe I can respawn him or something? Maybe you can respawn the guy? No? Alright, fine. That's probably the fifth quick point if I had to guess. Alright, and then, uh, and then there, there are underwater sections as well, which, again, which control very similarly to the Donkey Kong Country. Um, break these things. And we wanna get off these clothes, that's for sure. Um, one thing I do really like about this game is that there are no lives. They actually ditch lives entirely. If you die, you essentially just respawn at the, at the most recent checkpoint. That is a really good change. Because personally, I do feel lives have become pretty outdated, if I'm honest, at this point. Like, oh jeez, I don't want to get high. I'm not calling that thing. Oh, come on. Alright, there we go. I'll just call Lily back. I do feel lives, yeah, lives are definitely a thing of the past. I feel that they've just become extremely outdated. And it's kind of just gotten to the point where... Um, they don't really belong in games like, in like, platforming games or whatever. I, I, I prefer games without lives in general. Um, alright, so we're gonna go with you guys. Oh, that's not a twit coin? I really thought that would be a twit coin in here, whatever. Alright, we're gonna here. Maybe there's something like in here? No. There's gotta be something. We're definitely missing a twit coin. 
grab the key, obviously. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna miss those. Oh, there's a Twitch win. Alright, so I only missed number one. Not bad. Close call, yeah. But yeah, there, all, there also were a lot of new composers as well for this game. Um, spoiler alert, by the way, this game is pretty difficult. So it's in, uh, that must be the beat tally, let's smash him to set him free. I lost my opportunity to get that thing, but... There we go, anyway, you smash this at the end of the level, and we get slain. Achievement unlocked, quick coin, hmm, cryptic. Buzzer land. Alright, nice, we got, what, two, three, four, and five, so we're only missing number one. What I'm probably gonna do, honestly, is I'll probably, like... Do a, a quick run at the end of all of this and at the end of like every few levels and so we can get the last few quick So anyways, now we have one battalion member. Oh, Good luck! So yeah, that signals that we have a battalion member. Wonderful, you saved a battalion. That's one extra hit you can take inside Capital B's impossible lair. You could try defeating Capital B again with the help from the rescued battalion. Or you can search for more chapters in a quest to raise the entire battalion army. And remember, you can attempt the impossible layer as many times as you like. The visa gathering. If you prefer to go at it alone, flip the switch and the impossible layer in my battalion will lead you to it. Flip it again to summon them back if you need them for help. Come speak to me if you'd like to know more. Good luck. So yeah, as as Queen Bee said, um, you, you can actually flip the switch in order to. Oh yeah, what do you think, Lily? Attempt the impossible layer again, or go searching for new chapters to save more battalion. Whatever we do, let's do it quick. I want to be home in time to watch cartoons. We off on an adventure, are you? Don't let this crate get in your way. So yeah, we'll deal with that in a moment. I just want to show off that, yeah, you can you can actually flip the switch in order to um, essentially do it without the bee, which is a really, really nice addition because there actually is a secret item that is completely optional that you can get, but you have to do it when you have no bees. So, yeah, and before, before you did this, you essentially had to do it on your first, before this lever was added, you had to do it on your first try. Which was kind of ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm glad that they just made it so that you can, you know, do it with without, you know, restarting the game every single time you want to do it, you know. Good for speedrunners. Yeah, neither have I. I think the closest I got was like the first boss and then I died, so. Actually, I just realized I'm gonna very quickly um fix something. Sorry, just give me one second. Uh, I'm also going to um, want to pause the game and go to options. Just turn off full screen for just a moment, just so I can uh, fix something. I'm, I'm actually going to quit out of uh, Safari or Google Chrome for now. So my uh... all right, there we go. Sorry about that. Just needed to very quickly deal with that, just so. Um, I'll talk about it when we get to the end of the game. <laughs> Just so I could uh, make the game run a little smoother. So yeah, there's our first achievement. Uh, thankfully, unlike in... So similar to Mega Man X Legacy Collection, not unlike, similar to Mega Man X Legacy Collection, it gives you a list of all the achievements, so that's nice. So yeah, here we have get our first Twit coin, so yeah. And uh, thankfully, as far as I know, none of these achievements are ridiculous. I think they're mostly just... Um, mostly about playing the game, but again, we'll see. Sweet, hold RB and move to drag a crate. So yeah, you can hold the right bumper and drag the crate around. Don't worry, we're not gonna have to grind. As far as I know, there's no grinding in this game. Sweet, use X to tail whip or roll when running. Yeah, now we can lower this thing. Huh, <laughs> Ivory Towers, get it? That was the setting of the first game, actually. Um, which I, I do hope we can play at some point, but I don't have it on, um, on Steam. I only have it on Switch, unfortunately, so. Anyways, here's the second level, Factory Fright. Uh, like I said, what we're basically gonna do is my my plan is we will pro every like 
five or so levels, we'll go back and get all the Twit coins, because we are going to be getting all of them. Alright, so here's Factory Fright. I also like how, um, the checkmate, like, literally records what your, um, <laughs> Yuka and Lily's positions like that. I always thought that was pretty cool. Alright, so let's drop down here. Um... I'm trying, to, I'm trying to explore a little bit. See which. I guess we should go to the left. Oh yeah, there's probably something right here. Please move, Mr. Gear. Thank you. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. There's the uh, feather guy I was looking for. There we go. Okay, I got, I got a big feather. That's fine. How do I get up there? Oh, yeah. eh, we'll probably find a way. Um, I'm not sure, Shivis, because I, I, I was going to get into this at some point, my thoughts on the original ukulele. Again, the reason I don't own it is not or on Steam is not because I don't like it, it's just because I don't own it on Steam. Like, I just don't, I just haven't paid for it. And I, I graciously was gifted the Impossible Layer by a friend. Shout out to Govna, who gifted me this game. Um, the original ukulele was very... Bloated is the best way I can put it. It's not a bad game. I honestly think that people overblow how bad the game is. It is legitimately fun. But it's not Banjo 3. It's not quite the same. Okay, I don't know how to get up there, so we'll just do that out later. So, as a result, I just. Um, I, I, I kind of hope that they, if they make another ukulele game, that it's kind of more like this, just because I, I think that this is more of their element, so to speak. Like, I just think that they, you know, they, they, they set out to what they wanted to do a lot better. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with Han on this one. Ah, crap. Wait, Laylee, Laylee, come back, and I'm dead. So, yeah, this is what happens if you die. Um, you literally just respawn at the last checkpoint. There's no... Like I said, there's no lives in this game, which is awesome. I really like that change. Right. I'm, I'm gonna gush about the soundtrack so much. I'm sorry, but just a freaking. Whoops. Right. I, I love the soundtrack in this game so much. It's so good. Probably something here. Uh -huh. Aha! I figured as much. Alright. That's what. Oh, really? That's only number one? I thought that the. You know, I thought I missed one or something. Alright, well. That'd be nice. Now we drop down here. It's it's really is so good. I, I'm i hoping that at some point I'll, tur I'll turn on the 8 bit soundtrack just because I didn't want you guys to hear it, but. The 8 bit soundtrack is awesome. Tater Talk 2 did a fantastic job. It really feels like you're playing like Super Mario Bros. 3 or something, which is epic. Alright, um. Uh, time this. Not like that. Oh, Laylee? Laylee? Oh, 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 damn it. Okay, that didn't go well. So thankful for no lives. So did I? Okay, so yeah, it doesn't save the, the uh, twit coins either, so I gotta go recollect this. Admittedly, I, I, I'm not as good as um, at Donkey Kong Country as I am at Mega Man, so you're, you're probably going to see me fail a lot. So, really? There's nothing else over here? I thought there'd be something. Alright, well, I guess not. Is there something here? No. So let's drop down here. Okay, well, there's the key. So, yeah, here's how we get to that locked door. That'll be a feature that shows up pretty often. So. Alright, so 
we go. Yeah. Oh, number three, all right. So we, we missed one, but that's all right. I do wonder where the second one is. Yum. The old, one of the only complaints I have about this game is that... Oh, I didn't finish this. Um, one of the only complaints I have about this game is that... Oh, I did not mean to go in that again. Whoops. Is if you don't get all the twitch points on your first go, it's annoying to get them on your second go because you have to beat the entire level. You can't just get it and then exit, which I find a little stupid, but it's what it's a it's a super minor complaint on the grand scheme of things. Honestly. So yeah, we'll we'll have to we'll have to replay the whole level whenever we you know get all the twitch points. And it's not really grinding; it's just kind of finding where it is. Um, in terms of which of the three Donkey Kong Country games is my favorite, DKC2 is my favorite. I love that game. One of my favorite games in the FNES. One and three are awesome, but two is... Oh! Two is my favorite. Well, okay, that didn't go well. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like that gear thing is going to be chasing us. Kind of like um, Crash Bandicoot's... Uh... That was close. I guess that gear thing was chasing us like the boulders in Crash Bandicoot. Alright. Alright, there's a bell in there. So let's grab that. Checkpoint City. Literally, I am stealing that from fellow YouTube streamer DGR Dave. Probably mm, stop popping his, uh. What he's saying. Alright, let's see if I can get this. Ah, damn it! Alright, I know I can get that. Wait, can I not get back up there? That would be really stupid if I couldn't. Alright, well that's unfortunate. Uh, I'm actually gonna die then, because I really want to get that, um... I want to get what's up there, because I'm pretty sure that's, you know, something good. Where I had enough, like, range or enough, uh, momentum to get it, but I guess not. Oh, nope, that's not good. Get Lately, closer call, yeah. <laughs> And yeah, you can all you can you can jump on them. You can also um. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, so we can't get in there. So I guess that was kind of a wasted death or whatever. At least we got some stuff. Flip over these gears. Uh, do I want to go down here or do I want to go on the? Go down here first. There's probably something down here. Aha! I don't know what's down here though. Uh, all right, let's go in here. All right, this looks good. Oh jeez. All right, so that's number four. Nice. Oh, and that led us back up here. All right. Here, down here, checkpoints. Can't go in there, unfortunately. Bam! All in a row. Yeah, it is pretty similar to something like Yoshi's Island. Right, I want to get that. Thing. One thing I am gonna miss without wise, admittedly, is like, you know how in Super Mario Bros. you can jump on eight enemies in a row and you'll get an extra life? I'm gonna miss that, because that that was always really fun. Like, just bouncing off a lot of enemies at once. I'm not doing it correctly here, but... And in fact, I actually, you know, just took a hit, and I'm probably not... Lately! Thank you. I'm not gonna be able to do it right here, but... Oh, okay, then, yeah, that, that, that had a red color. But yeah, I do, I, I do, I am gonna miss doing that, because that was always one of my favorite things to do in Mario. Here, oh jeez. Uh, what is it here? I'm curious. Alright, let's, uh... Let's grab this. Alright, so this is gonna be used for something, definitely. Oh jeez, oh jeez, no! Oh, I think I messed it up. Probably, yeah, I needed to use it right there. Damn it. All right, well, there's no way I can die, unfortunately, so. Uh, at least I know what to do for the next time. Wait. 
I was about to say, can I not ground pound? Oh, I forgot. All right, we got an achievement, Army of Two. But yeah, I missed that that one at the very end. That was that was dumb. Zingery. All right, so we got one, three, and four. Not bad. I'm annoyed I missed that one at the very end just because I got hit by, by uh, one of the gears. Nice, alright. Uh, yeah, this random lever here. You know, Zingery Best. What was the first B name? I'm curious. This guy's name is um, Zingery, one of the older Italian members known for delivering zingers and, de and dealing with zingers in a former life. And we have Buzzerland. A Highlands bee that controls rank and formations with an evil iron bee fist. <laughs> what the hell? Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi friends! For those of you guys who played the first game, you know who this is. Oh no, it's Trouser. Keep an eye on your wallet, Yuka. Oi, Trouser, your stupid gate is blocking our progress. Oh, you mean this? Oh, that, oh that's just a paywall, get it? It's a literal paywall! Yes, that is a Donkey Kong Country reference. My late, yep, my latest business idea is sure to make me millions! But we need to pass to find more Vitalian troops and defeat Capital B. We're on urgent royal business. Ah, why didn't you say? Of course, for royal customers like you, I'll open the paywall for only a fraction of the Twitcoin costs. What a crook. We know we're your, we're your only customers, Trouser. If you're running short, I hear there are lots of Twitcoin hidden in the in scattered chapters. Do you want to unlock this paywall for one Twitcoin? So yeah, basically this is why you need Twitcoins. Achievement unlock paywalls? Smashing! So yeah, this is why you need paywalls. This is why you need Twitcoins, because they unlock the literal paywalls. I, I cannot believe they actually did that. They, they named the thing paywalls. God... Yeah, now we unlocked a couple more, um, tomes. I think they're called the game. Another satisfied customer for Trouser. Not really satisfied, just, you know. I'm not complacent either, I don't know what Trouser's man of his word, that's true. Hey kid, it's me, Bendy. Yeah, I mean, ah, oh, it's you. Wow. I'm here to save your backside with my game-changing tonics. Oh, I remember those. They were pretty useful. What have you got for us, Ben? What have you got for us, Bendy? Well, let me show you in the tonic menu. This is the this is the tonic menu. Any tonics you find in the overworld will appear in here. You'll have to buy them first with quills from the, cha from the chapters, but luckily one is a freebie. Press A to unlock one if you collected enough quills. Right now, press A. Yeah, I want to unlock this one. So we got Catchy. Great job, you purchased your first tonic. Press A to select it. Press A to equip it. Achievement unlocked just to play tonic. Get it? Excellent job, you've unlocked the Catchy tonic. This one will mean Lely doesn't scare off as easily inside the chapters, giving you longer to save her, Yuka. Who are you, who are you saying gets scared off, you big chunk of cheese? Ouch! <laughs> Wow, thanks, Mendy. That actually sounds really useful. You bet, and there are many more where that came from. If you find one in the overworld, always check back in the, in the tonic menu to see what you found. But remember, they only work inside the chapters. Boo! Come back anytime if you want to know more about them. So yeah, there's a tonic right up there, as you can see. But yeah, the puns are so good. So yeah, the, the tonics do not work inside the impossible layer. They only work for the chapters. They're good for uh, getting a couple. They're good for getting a couple. Uh, what's it? Oh yeah, tweet buddy slam A and L B. You can do the ground pound. Uh, they they're good for getting stuff in the levels, which will be easy. Why? Do you want to buy my hint for ten quills? No. Fine. Good luck finding somewhere else to spend them. Wow. So yeah, that, the signpost will give you hints, essentially. Now, as you can see, we have these things. You can't exactly roll into them. We do have this, though. We hold right bumper and move a crate. So yeah, we can use it to get up to this chest, which is nice. So just move it like this. Jump up here, up here, and there we go. Nice, we got some quills. Right, so let's move the thing over here. 
here, and then... Yeah, this song is nostalgic, that's for sure. And now we can use the crate to get up here. We have this bomb berry. We pick up berries by pressing right bumper and press again to throw. Okay, we can use it to blow up these things. They do have a time limit, though, so, you know, be at least somewhat careful. <laughs> Let's go down here. There are some enemies, although they can't really hurt us because, well, it's still the overworld. Alright, so we can jump up here. And grab the bomb berry again. I, I keep calling them bomb berries. I, that, that's, that's the name of, of an item in something else, and I cannot remember what it is. Alright, so there's a tonic, for example. This is why you want to always kind of try and find... This is always why you want to search for stuff on the overworld. Because the overworld is basically a giant level in and of itself, which is really cool. There we go, we got a tonic. Tonic found, or checkmate. Ooh, that's gonna be useful. Alright, now we gotta use the berry again. Nice day for a stroll. Oh, it's a pagey. These guys were the collectibles and ukuleles. Oh, it's the ch chameleon and bat. What's up with that? If you get that reference, nice work. How exciting. My friends and I have managed to trap some baddies in the realm within us. We can help you on your quest if you can't send them off. Do you want to enter my challenge level? That sounds very awkward, but sure. Let's do this. So yeah, the pages in this game aren't, like, they're not the collectibles, they basically just serve as challenge levels. Which is a bit of a downgrade, because I actually really like the pages in Ukulele. Um, but it's alright. Kill the enemy, and there you go. Obviously it's not always going to be that simple, but yeah. Challenge win! Get equipped with Pagey. Actually, I'm, I'm even wearing a Mega Man shirt today, even though I'm not even playing a Mega Man game. Uh, fantastic job, you beat the first challenge level. I'll call in the Flyer Squad and we'll alter the overworld. Check this out. AG Power! Fair enough, Timmis. We're gonna be streaming for a while, just so you guys know. I'm planning on going to like 11.30 midnight. Score! I love that record scratch, like... <laughs> Oh dear. Thank goodness it's Yuka and Lele. This is Dr. Puzz. In the original game, she, um, she transformed us into various things. Do you remember the transformation from Banjo Kazooie? That's what she did. Watch it, Yuka. It's that oxygen prone squid scientist. Having some tentacle, er, um, technical issues, Dr. Puzz? Why, yes, it's my latest invention. I was all ready to power it up before I went and misplaced the switch. Don't worry, Doc. We'll find a way to power your massive, ominous-looking machine. What could possibly go wrong? Now that you said that, I'm sure the switch is somewhere just ahead. Right there. Keep an eye out for it on your adventure. Thanks, Doc. We'll keep our eyes peeled. Later. Where did I put the switch? See, here's the third level, uh, Wild Web Woods. And yeah, you, essentially, you can equip the tonics at any time, but the gimmick of the tonics is if you give, if you equip a tonic that makes the game easier, you get less quills at the end of the level. So, like, for example, this one, uh, it takes off 10% of the quills. So, at the end of the level, um, we'll only have 90% of the quills we collected throughout the level, essentially. Like, it'll, it'll literally take it off. However, if we equip tonics that make the game harder, the opposite happens, where we have where we get more quills at the end of the level. So just something to think about. Um, personally, I'm cool with this, so let's go. Alright, immediately I'm gonna go to the left, because I have a feeling there's something up there. Uh, if I could get up there. Nice, I don't know if I can, actually. No, I don't think I can jump high enough. Maybe if I had, like, a double jump tonic, I could, but I do not. Oh, okay, I guess that works. Well, I guess that's how you get up here. Crack that. Hey, there we go. Excellent. 
There's our first quick point of the level. I also, I also love the controls in this game in particular. Really, as soon as I say, I love the controls, I get hit. But no, in all, in all seriousness, I love the controls in this game. It legitimately feels like Donkey Kong Country 4. Awesome. Alright, let's go here. Alright, well, I definitely missed that, so, oh well. Hopefully that wasn't a twist. Is there something in here? No. Gotta watch out for those uh, spiders. Something. No, nothing down there. Anything in here? Aha! Alright, what's down here? Oh, alright, gotta get all the quills. There we go. Is that a coin? No. I thought it might be, but it is not. Uh, might be something down here, though. What's down here? Okay, we have we have one of these things. Oh, okay. Die. Because, <laughs> yeah, you, you can't jump on those guys, unfortunately, so... You gotta, you, you gotta like, throw a projectile at them. Hey, that's all right. I really appreciate it, Keebs. Thanks for stopping by. Definitely, no, no pressure to stay. Just totally up to you. All right, gotta watch out for that spider. Let's see. Jump. Oh, look. okay. Don't want to get those spider guys are definitely based off a of Donkey Kong enemy, but I literally cannot remember which one it is. Like, I, I'm, I'm struggling to remember which one it is, but I know that that's based off of an enemy from DKC. Wait a minute, hold on. Was there something? I feel like there is something up there. No, there isn't, and in fact, I died. Nice going. Let's try that again. I, I, yeah, same here, huh? So good. This is a checkpoint look right there. I have a feeling I don't wanna, I don't wanna hit that. Is there anything up here? No. Let's see, there's probably... Oh no, that's that's the right way to go. So then in that case, there's definitely something up here. Oh, yep, okay, there we go. Will we actually get all the collectibles in this, in this level? We already got three... Oh, actually, I want to go that way. This, that well, allows us to drop down. And you get a feather, which is nice. Ow! Ow, 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 that's bad, that's bad. Give me, give me Laylee. No, I literally just lost Laylee as soon as I said that. Checkmate right there. It looks like... No, okay, I thought, I thought that, was a, that was a random platform, but no. Alright, let's slide down, jump here. Oh, jeez, nope. And yeah, as you guys as you guys can probably tell, this is not my first time playing this game. I have beaten this game before, and it's really good. Okay, definitely something. Hmm. Ow, ow, ow. And I'm dead. <laughs> nice going. So glad for the infinite lives. <laughs> I think it's I think it's actually meant for this guy. For you. Come on, let's get all the feathers. Alright, uh, not bad. Oh, okay, there's a there's a berry right here. That's interesting. Uh, and it's basically the ball of doom. Yeah, exactly. For you. Oh, 
Um, by the way, those feathers in the first game, they were, they were called Ghost Riders, and essentially... Really? I missed one. The Ghost Riders... By the way, great pun, Ghost Riders, damn it. <laughs> great pun, Ghost Riders. Essentially, they were like the, um... What's the word? They were like the red coins from uh, Super Mario 64, where if you collected all of them in, in the level, you got an 80. Damn it! Okay, I am not doing well with this level at all. I swear I'm good at 2D platformers, guys. I swear. Okay, now I'm just being an idiot. Come on. I definitely want to get the fruit up here, that's for sure. I was like, that cannon is going to lead us something. That was number four. All right, perfect. Oh, almost got hit by those spider guys, though. Um, one important thing to... Okay, I was about to say, there's, 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 there's definitely something like over here or whatever. Oh, jeez. One, one important thing to note, by the way, is if you roll... Like, if you roll off the platform... I don't want to destroy that, but if you roll off of a platform, you actually get, um, you get, like, a little bit of air time. That's something called coyote time, where you essentially have, like, an extra second to jump. So, if I, if it looks like I'm, like, jumping off of a platform when I shouldn't be making it, that's why. Right, so there's the last twit coin. So, nice, I actually got all the twit coins in this level. That's kind of cool. Of course, I got hit at the very end, but so be it. It's like, hey, I'll show right here. See? He has, like, a little bit of air time before he, you know, actually falls. All right, let's ground pound this. Let's see what keys we get. Italian rescue. We got an achievement unlocked quit mining. Buzzacon, apparently. All right, so we got 159. Got all the quit coins. Now, again, that technically in the level, we probably collected, like, one, like, seven, like, 160 something, 170 something. But because we had the tonic... It decreased our quill amount. So. There's our third B Italian member. That's nice. Um so we just bio. Buzzacon, most useful, a most useful guard, often found setting up uh, relaxing Zen golf courses. Nice. Alright, so we can buy this for 250 checkmates, which I am going to do. Um and yeah, we got uh Army of Two. Hay walls, twit mining, and uh, just the play tonic. So, on our way. All right. Uh, let's continue. Oh, here's the uh, here's the other tonic. Quick coin banker. What does that do? Let's find out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely getting this. Oh, we don't have enough quills. All right. No longer lose twit coins when Yuka dies. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be getting that. That's gonna be very useful for when we're, you know, getting all the rest of the uh, all the rest of the twit coins at the end. All right, uh, all right. This is, now we have a bit of a puzzle here. We have to kind of move the box in such a way that we can get through. So something like this. Here's our next level, level four, which is frantic fountains. Let's check it out. <laughs> Buzz a con, yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I don't. That would be my times point seven. Although I think we get an achievement for doing it with two tonics, so let's do it with two tonics. All right, so right off the bat, we have a giant quill thing right here. Okay, so yeah, we definitely want to get all of these. On. There we go. Yeah, I definitely want to get a lot of quills because, you know, we're going to want to get that one thing from, uh, 
Wait, there's something up here. Ooh, hey, a twist coin. Nice. There's our first twist coin. Indeed, is one of the David Wise songs. Just shake that to get some more feathers. I love it. David Wise is such a fantastic, um, fantastic composer. Actually, there was a very good interview with him on Game Explain for uh, Donkey Kong Country 2's, like, 20... 5th or 20th anniversary or something like that, go check it out. It's a very good interview. It's like an hour long, and it's basically just him talking about, you know, game music and stuff. It's really rad. Alright. This. Um. Down there. Yeah, definitely check it out. I think there was, there was a similar thing for Donkey Kong Country's 20th anniversary a couple of years ago. So. But this one was definitely the most, like, that's, that, that's the one that happened the most recently, so. Yeah, go check it out. It's really cool. Get all the quills. We have the Laylee Bell, which I don't want. I don't want to jump on this guy. Grab this. There's probably something I can use with this. Uh, ow! Hold on. Thank you. I'm gonna break that. Hold on, give me that last one. Nice. Right. Anything in here? Nice, some more quills. Oh, there's probably something down there. Eh, alright. See if I can yeah. Hold on, I wanna get that one. Come on! Oh I missed it. Dang it. I like a I like an inch. It's definitely stuck in here, yeah, I figured as much. A lot of a lot of uh, feathers there. Sorry if I, I I'm sorry if I accidentally call them like bananas or coins. I'm just I'm so used to freaking ow. I'm so used to like Mario or Donkey Kong. I, 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 I know I know I know what I want to do here. Yeah, I want to jump on those guys. I did not do that right, but whatever. There's another twist coin. Number four. Ouch! We missed a lot of them. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm not sure how exactly you're supposed to get that, but... Oops. I do wonder if... Yeah, I, I feel like there is something up there. Maybe there isn't, but... And of course I did it wrong, so that's, that's always swell. Ah, okay, I don't know how to get that. I'll, uh, just, I'm gonna assume there's nothing up there until I come back to the stage then. Oh, right, I forgot I did not... Okay, well, that's unfortunate. I would say I forgot I did not get the freaking... You know, the, uh, the last thing. There we go, I wanted to get that thing. Oh, no, I just used the freaking... You can go back right there? I, I know, uh, but I... Is the wall solid? Yeah, the wall solid, unfortunately. No, it's okay. Um, yeah, wall is solid, unfortunately. I'm just gonna... I, I, I think I know where the third coin is, and I don't think it was right there. Again, well, I, I have a, I'll have a guide when we, you know, when we go back and get all the quick coins, but for now, we're just gonna play the game. Just because I, I want to, like, I want to show as much of this game off as I can, you know what I mean? Alright, there's the fifth quick coin. This one's not that hard, I think. I, I think this one should be pretty easy. If I can, you know, time it correctly. Ah, oh, come on. I almost had it there. Ah, oh, damn it. This one should not be difficult, but it's, it, it's, it's... There we go. I was like, that one should not be hard. It's literally in plain sight. Uh, alright, well, let's just break this. There's nothing up there. 
The style of the game does look pretty cool. Alright, we got achieved army of four and double mixer. Nice. Happy Dave. Huh, <laughs> nice. Alright, so yeah, this is why I don't want to equip too many tonics at once. Because, you know, I don't want to, uh... <laughs> I don't want to decrease our quill count by that much. Alright, so there's our fourth battalion member. Nice. Like I said, there's, there are 48 total, so we're making good progress. Hmm, seems we're at a bit of a dead end lately. Yuka, Lele. Name of the game. Roll credits. How's your adventure going? Better than the last game, thanks. Oh yeah, that's another thing. This game breaks the fourth wall a lot. Both, both ukulele games do. Similar to Banjo Kazooie. Lele, it's going well. Oh, Lele, it's going well. Although it looks like we've hit a dead end. Ah, good thing I came over to check on in on you. I have an idea. Happy Dave moment, yeah. Try throwing this frost berry at the water the chapter has landed in. All right, so let's let's try it. The chapter will freeze and should affect the world within. Wow, so you think we'll be able to reach new areas? It's worth a shot. Give it a go. So yeah, this is also one of my favorite parts of this game. Essentially, ooh, the chapter is frozen. Get exploring, friends. I bet it's like a whole new world inside. So yeah, this is also one of my favorite parts of the game. Every single level, all of them, have an A and a B side to them. So as you can see, we had frantic fountains and now we have frantic fountains frozen. So they literally double the level, the number of levels in this game by putting two sides to it. It is such a genius idea and I love it. <laughs> I love this idea, it's so cool. Cause it, it lets you replay levels, but with a different uh, perspective. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna de-equip this one. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna de-equip that one. Yep, two songs per level. So as you can see, it is technically the same level. It's a bit chilly in here. So yeah, it is technically the same level, although... Uh, and like we have new... T but we have like new twit coins and everything. The level layout is slightly different. And yeah, it's essentially... It's kind of like a, an entirely different level altogether, which is really cool. Yep, David Wise also did this. Come on, we need the... Tails. Come on. Okay, well, I missed that one. Oh, wait, give me that. Thank you. I want to get all the quills I can get. Definitely going to want as many of them as we can. Double the fun, yeah. We're here. Barrel cannon, or I'm sorry, flower cannon. It's a barrel cannon. For something. Let's let's not kid ourselves. Ow! Nope. Get out of here. Right, now how do I get up there? I'm curious. It looks like there's a way to get in from the other side. Although I think I just messed it up. Oh well. Grab this. Here. Wow, it's like killing all the enemies. That's kind of cool. Checkpoint. Whoops, I was writing two things. All good. It's a Oh, I need. Oh, yeah. I, you're, you're probably right. I probably need to jump on the enemies. Okay, well, I messed that up, that's for sure. There's something down here? I, I thought so. <laughs> Now we have these guys again. Now the, now the floor is slippery, so we gotta be a little more careful. Oh, they all jumped into the ice spikes. That's pretty funny. All right, there's definitely something in there. Oh, okay, it's just straight up a twit coin. Nice. Uh, but these, these, I guess these guys just like the, uh, the ice balls or something. 
Let's activate that guy. Watch out for the ice spikes, since they do hurt you. Obviously, they're spikes. They're not one-hit kill, like in Mega Man, but they still hurt you. Freaking... Even Sonic the Hedgehog doesn't get killed in one hit by spikes. Why does Mega Man get... I mean, I know the actual reason is still. So anyways, as you can see, there's the end of the level, but we can't exactly get to it, considering there's these frozen structures. We gotta find another way. Right, so there's number four. Uh, I'm not really sure to get to that. Probably something we can do in this area, if I guess. Just spikes are spiky. <laughs> yeah. Alright. See if I can get this one. Well, I missed that. Whoa, we got a lot of them. Ow. Come on. Laylee. Oh, well, okay. Goodbye, Laylee. Game? I beg to differ, game. Oh, come on! No, Laylee! Laylee! Ah, oh, fine. And I bet you the last one is right over here. Okay, I guess I was right on that regard. That, that was, that was big F right, yeah, that was, that was a big F moment. That's for sure. Alright, so we got, we got Waspinson. And we got Twitch Coins 1, 3, and 5, not bad. And that was, that was an F moment, that's for sure. F in the chat. All right, so there we go. Yeah, that was a moment, yeah. That was number five. Burr, that was quite a change. Yes, I had a feeling you could affect the, the chapters like that. I'm sure you could change it each chapter in a weird or wonderful way. Number nine. <laughs> I've grown you a Scorch Berry to melt this one so you can change states whenever you like. So yeah, don't worry, you can always change the state back if you want to replay a level or whatever. And look who showed up while you were inside. It's a Pagey. Well, hello, folks. Hello there. To press on with your adventure, go talk to the Pagey. I'm heading back to Highbury Towers to rally the rescued troops. Keep it up, friends. You're doing terrific. I thought, I thought I was expecting a pun there, but... Alright, so yeah. To demonstrate, um... You can always just grab that, throw it on there, and then the level state changes back. It's usually pretty simple to change them back and forth. Here come my friends! Well, not quite yet. First, I wanna, um... See if I can make that jump back. Yeah, I figured as much. Um... Let's drag this over here. All right, fine. We'll uh, we'll we'll help you, Mr. Daisy. Fine. No, you're right. This is not Mega Man. Hello, Motion. We're playing Ukulele in the Impossible Layer. All right, we're ready to do the challenge level. This is number two. You got to defeat five enemies. I'm curious, Motion. Do you like this game quite a bit? Oh jeez. Ow, ow, ow. That's bad. Well, okay. Lady's dead. And now I'm dead. Challenge fail! I love how all the, I love how all the uh, pages are sad. But now I feel sad for failing them. Wait, hold on, you need to die. Here. And die. Played like a year ago, got to the lair, never played it again. I do recommend giving it a try just because, admittedly, the lair is very hard, but lair is, it, it's great. <laughs> great job. We, want, we now have the power to alter the overworld. Watch this. AG power!
seriously, I, I do recommend you give the game again, uh, give the uh, game a try again, folks, and it is really fun. Because the, the beating the layer is very damn satisfying. All right, let's jump up here. I'm sure, there's something over here. Oh, okay. Uh, we're just going. This is just going back to. Uh, um, I'm actually going to take this time to... Oh, yeah, let's see what our new Vitalian friends. We have Apidane. Apidane takes no hits from anything, or sometimes puts no hits on anything. <laughs> Waspinson, a Cockney Beezer from down south. He's only got... He's only gone and got a new Uncle Bob. Okay, that's probably some British reference that I do not understand. And then, of course, we got uh, Army of the Four and Double Mixer. Nice. Let's, uh... Oh. Here and uh, see what else is going on. Oh, geez, there's another paywall. Uh oh. Oh, nice, you got all the Vitalians. You got all 48 of them. That's cool. All right, let's jump down here. It's probably something we can There's those bounce flowers. We have this thing that uh, lowers the bridge if there's something on it. Uh, there's a sign. Ooh, it's a berry. All right. Uh, Oh, that's water, so that's not gonna... Oh, but that will water the flowers, obviously. Yeah, even when you have all 48 bees, it does get pretty hard. Alright, there's another flower over there that I need to go over. Admittedly, the game is, is pretty... It's, it's Donkey Kong style hard. It's still, it's still a hard game. I want to water that. I want to water this. That's probably something I can uh, use that for. Here, and there's our next level. Although we also have this thing. Alright, not that that did much, but I guess it'll do something later. Alright, let's do our next level. Uh, chapter 5, Gasping Glade. I love how they're called boom blooms. Like we're we're all clear that those those things are literally just the cannons of Donkey Kong Country, but uh, they still have to come up with a copyright free name. Wait, I want the last go. Oh, there we go. Yep, good song level with me. Ah, come on, I missed that. Thing. Yeah, and I probably needed that to get yeah, there's probably a Twit coin in there, honestly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die and see if I can get it. I, 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 I'm almost certain there's a Twit coin. Come on. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain that's a Twit coin. Like, it has to be. It, 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 it's just too obvious for it not to be. Oh, jeez. Nope. Hold on. I, I knew it. I freaking knew it. Die. Ah! I was not expecting that spider to go all the way down. God, I love this soundtrack. Here. Alright, these are these platforms that can, that can sometimes be used. Uh, I was about to say, there's definitely something up there. That's gonna, that's gonna kill me. Yeah, I'm yeah, jamming out to this freaking awesome music. Barfing, <laughs> barfing, uh, quills. Nice. Definitely something up there. Oh, damn it. Okay, there we go. Are you. Are you here, no. Down. Oh, jeez. 
Alright, well, at least that guy didn't hurt me. Although he did almost knock me into a spider. There's a... Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna die because I, I want to get that stupid twit coin. I was, I, I was about to say, I just realized the platform and I was like, damn it. Okay, I can't get it. Now. Ow! ow. Teabagging it and then I actually got hit. and immediately gets thrown into acid. Yeah, all right, so there's the point. Wrong, there's the gears again. Gotta be a little bit careful with the platform again. Who even got that thing? Nice. Well, I lost Layla, definitely. Well, that's unfortunate. We're Layla list. I'm sure we'll get her back soon, though. Either that or we die, so. Okay, yeah, I actually really need Layla back now because. Yeah, there's something in there. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna die. Oh dear, we'll never get past that alive. <laughs> we just quickly die, so we have Layla. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, one of the other things is that similar to Super Mario World, or actually Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze also has but Super Mario World is the game I think of first. Um, the game does have secret exits, and that one in particular is kind of stupid. Uh, okay, I I guess there's no- oh wait, I was about to say, there's, that, there's gotta be a twist point down here, right? Yeah, I thought so. So, for that one, you have to wait forever. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, honestly. Um, I guess, should we wait now, or should we, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, let, let's get the nor- um, What do you guys think in the chat? Should we get the normal exit first, or should we get the secret exit? The secret exit essentially give you more battalions. I guess while we're here, we might as well wait. Oh, actually, there's the platform. So yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just drive the platform. There is actually another way you can do it. I think if you if you went into the level with like some sort of damage protection, you might be able to do it another way, but this is just the you know, easy way to do it. Yeah. Okay, so 
Ow. Layla, you get back here. Duck under this thing. And there's a secret exit. Okay, there we go. Stage clear. Secret exit. Nice. Yeah, this is why you want to go to the secret exits, because like I said, they give you more battalions. Achievement unlock army of six. Nice. That was our sixth battalion, obviously. You only found out the platform is there because you got to use the tonics to get over there. Yeah, exactly. Alright, so what was the beat we just got? D Wizzy. Or D Wiz. More hired help brought in to steady the band and jazz things up. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, there's 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 how you get that secret exit. Let's uh you know let's 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 speed the level again. Although this time I'm gonna see where the um where the second twit coin is. Alright, so it's after crossing the first green door. Got it. I have the guide up just in case stuff like this happens. Let's let's get the other twit coin. We might as well just play through the level again anyway. Which I'm totally fine with, by the way. I, I love the fact that... Oh, I forgot to... Oh, I forgot to buy the tonic that, you know... I forgot to buy the tonic that, um... That, uh, lets us say you save Twit Coins in between decks. Dang it. Alright, I'll do that next time. Please do not let... Do, please do not let me forget, chat, because I really need to buy that tonic. That's going to be very crucial. Get on one of the platforms going up. So it's after the first green door, so I think it's. I think it's right over here. Oh, oh wait, I think I, I think I actually missed it. I think it's down there. No, that's not where it is. Yeah, this is the first green door. So it should be right over here. But say that was that jump I would not have made. So wait, is it right over there? So I guess it's a different place. Because uh, according to this guide, that's where the um, that's where the coin is going. And then you can't you can't roll into that guide for obvious reasons. All right, so I guess that's oh maybe it's this part. Yeah, it's probably this part honestly. Yeah, okay, there it is. And I did it wrong, of course. <laughs> Whoops. All right, well there's the, the second twit coin is right over there, so let's just quickly look at it. Like I said, this will be a 100% let's play. Uh, getting every achievement, which thankfully does not involve beating the game without any battalions. Thank God. I would not do it if I had to do that. Because that is, that is insanity. There we go. There's our second Twit coin that we were missing. Now we can just focus on beating the level. Oh, come on! I know motion, I stole that from DGR, I'm aware. Let's go 
on this door this time, because we already got the uh, other foot coin where the key was. Time that correctly. And that. immediately dies. This, this almost fell off the edge there. That was close. Alright, there, there we go. This is where we were. Now we just go through the door. And I'm pretty sure this is the end of the level, so... Yep, there we go. Hey, whap it. And there we go. Italian rescued. Yvonne Lin. I'm sure someone gets that pun, but I do not. Yeah, the tonic. Thank you. Appreciate it. There's B number seven. Thanks, Jimis. Appreciate it. All right, so let's equip that. Oh, yeah, let's read our B first. Want a place in the B-talion via social media? Get it? Oh, my God. I love the puns. All right, so we're actually going to equip all three of them because that'll also get us to achieve. Uh, oh, here's a tonic. Tonic found. Googly eyes. So that's an example of a tonic that, um, I don't have enough, but as you can see, essentially it just, this is an example of a tonic that actually makes the game harder, where every enemy has googly eyes, which means they take an extra hit. So it actually gives us more quills as a result. So, like, so that's an example of uh, why you might want to make the game harder for yourself. Uh, let's see, what exactly am I supposed to do? I guess maybe I hit this. We need a key, though, and we can't exactly get it. Oh, okay, we Oh, we need 1,000 quills. Alright, so we're gonna have to go back to certain, certain other levels, then. Uh, let's see if we can, um... Let's see if we can actually redo some levels that we missed to get back up to a thousand. We do not have enough. Oh, we can also get that, I guess. Come on. Here. There we go. Friggin' trouser. I can't believe this paywall scheme is working so well. Huzzah, you returned. Do you want to unlock the paywall for 10 twit coin? Yes. Lovely jubbly achievement unlocked. Another paywall? So yeah, now we have access to this part of the, of the, uh, of the areas. We can go up there now. So that's nice, I guess. Now we have three more. Excellent. And, and another paywall. Another satisfied customer for Trouser. Alright, uh, what's over here? Oh, it's an enemy. And there's a flower. Hmm. Alright, I think I know what to do. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta run. We have to basically take the berry and run. Come on. There we go. Nice, got it. Alright, now let's see what's over here. Ooh, this is already pretty expansive. Ooh, alright. Let's get this. Tonic found. Try twirl. So I think that lets us uh, twirl for longer. Also, we have whatever is in here. A lot of quills. That'll be useful. Uh, let's see. What's over here? Ooh, a pagey. All right, let's do this. Nice day for a stroll. You want to enter my challenge level? Yes, please. Let's do this. Trousers are always making profit. Yep. 
Alright, so they gotta, they gotta defeat all these guys. Wow, we already lost Laylee. That's not good. This is slightly problematic. We got, we, got, we got eight left. Come on. Eleven. Oh, come on. One left, one left. Come on. There we go. Nice. Wait, where's the last one? Oh! Okay, I guess we have to jump for that one. Wait. Oh, dang it. All right, that, that one's going to be hard. So we got to jump for that guy. I might want to restart just because, like, you know, it'll, it'll be a little easier lately. Oh, come on. Yeah, I got I to gotta jump for that guy, essentially. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I do like the music, at least. There we go. I kept missing him. Challenge win! All your base belong to us. <laughs> Zero ring, anyone? Great job. We now have the power to alter the overworld. Watch this. KG power! There we go. We have we we got we got a taste of KG power. <laughs> All right. So now we have now as you can see, level two is actually flooded. So now we're gonna do factory bright flooded. This will be interesting. KG moment. Yeah, exactly. All right. Let's do chapter two. Uh, yeah, we'll do we'll do it with three just because. Um, let's see. Yeah, all right, we'll do it. We'll do it with these three. Just so, uh, just so I can show you guys. Just so we can get that achievement, and I can show you guys. Did somebody leave the water running? Yeah, you. All right. So now, as you can see, this is an underwater level. Aquatic ambience. Not quite aquatic ambience, but you know what I mean. There's number one. Yeah, <laughs> DKC underwater level music, I know, right? Just giant pog all around. That's not pog, though. The fact that I just screwed up with Layla. Come on. There we go. Here. Okay, so now the so now these capsules essentially are uh, filled with water. That's interesting. Get all these. Then we go over here. Okay, this guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not even gonna risk that. It has not worked. Yeah, you, know, you gotta be careful about that enemy because that enemy basically. Sucks you in. Right, there's definitely something over here. That's it? Just a bunch of quills? Okay, I guess. That's just a big quill, so I'm not gonna go with the quill. Gotta be careful about that gear. It looks like there'd be something over here. I knew it. Uh oh. Alright, there's the coin. 
You gotta be careful about those spike guys, because I believe they follow you, actually. Ow! Clearly, thank you. And now the water's gonna drain, I guess. Yep. Oh, dang it, the freaking gear is in the way. And stop! Wait a minute, there's something up there. Okay, it was just it was just a quill, but still. Oh, uh oh, that thing is back. Go, 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 go. Uh oh. I'm sorry, Lily. Gotta swim. Gotta swim. Oof, that was close. There's a checkmate right there, thankfully. It looks like there's something up here, actually. Oh, nice. All right, there's number three. And of course, as soon as I do that, I die. The big gear returns, yeah. Of course, as soon as I hit that, I freaking die. Although, I think our, yeah, our, our twitch points are still saved. Because I have that one tonic equipped. So, yeah, as you can see, that's why it's important to have tonics. Because that way, stuff like that happens where, you know, you just save your, uh, save your twitch points. That was close. Ow! Whatever. Bye, Lily. Never mind. We need Lily. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I am big dead. You gotta be. You gotta be careful with these water levels. Ow! You know, one thing I am sad about, though. Oh, come on! Oh, damn it. All right. One thing I am sad about is that, to my recollection, there are no minecart levels in this game. Which is so damn sad, because I love the minecart levels in Donkey Kong Country. I know I'm in a minority to that, but seriously. Oh, okay. Seriously, man? Oh, my lord. I'm failing miserably. Yeah, I actually really like the, the, the minecart levels in, like, Donkey Kong Country Returns or whatever. And I am kind of sad that they really aren't in this game. But, say la vie, I guess. When they emu when you you can only emulate so much from Donkey Kong Country before, you know, <laughs> before it gets to the point where you're literally just copying them. You know what I mean? People that don't like DKC minecart stages are no less than cowards. I feel like it's because you turn and tropical freeze and what. That's true. That that is true. There were maybe a few too many minecart levels in the turn in particular. I think there was like one per world. Tropical Freeze had it a little bit better when it had like the rocket barrel levels and whatever, but yeah. I admit there were a few things. That being said, Gear Getaway is one of my favorite uh, songs in the entire series. I love that track so much. Alright, so I believe we have to get all of these. And also, welcome, Papio. We're playing some ukulele in the impossible lair, as you can see. In other words, Indie Donkey Kong. I would so stream like Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze if I, you know, had a capture card, but alas, no capture card. We're sticking with ukulele, which is fine because I love this game. Checkpoint. Figured to be slung down here. What is down here? Ooh, all right, secret area. I'll move down to that. There. Tropical Freeze only has like three minecart levels and two half minecart levels. Meanwhile, Returns had an entire world dedicated to a rocket press. Like, yeah, I think Returns went a little overboard with the minecart levels. Which, I mean, it's it's fine, but I don't know. I I, I, I like I said, I love the minecart levels, but it did go a little overboard. Like, it, it got to the point where it was getting a little annoying. You gotta you gotta watch out for these spike guys. Like I said, they, they do a homework. Is there something up here? No. Uh, let's see if I can grab these. Is it up here? No. 
Oh, geez, that was close. Watch out for the guys that suck you in. Gotta lure this guy out. He's gonna block my way otherwise. He looks like the... Oh, okay. This guy. Uh-oh. I missed the last one, that's unfortunate. I was about to say, I, I'm only missing one coin, so it must be that. Oh. And I... I got it! I actually got it! <laughs> oh, I, I did not deserve to get that at all. Man, that was stupid. Someone please clip that. That was ridiculous. I did not deserve that coin at all. Oh my lord. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country 2 only had like four of them. I can't believe I got that. Is I did not deserve that coin. Alright. Alright, let, let, let's, let's get out of here. <laughs> um, let's get out of here. Whoa! Three achievements. Army of Eight, Mock Chain, and Triple Tipple. Nice. We got Dan Bean. Got all of the quick coins. Alright, so yeah, after this, I'm probably gonna only equip like one of the um, things at a time, just so, uh, you know. <laughs> Alright, we got eight bees, nice. Just so we can get a couple more um, quills, because I do want to get a thousand. So yeah, there's, there's 48 bees, 200 quick coins, and 62 uh, tonics. He got it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Alright. Dan Bean. Dan Bean produces more sugary goodness than the entire battalion guard combined and multiplied by a number bigger than you're thinking of. Probably a reference to something. And yeah, we got Tri Twirl. While in the air, press and hold X to perform a triple twirl and glide, glide gracefully to the ground. But we're going to save our quills temporarily just so... Um, Just so uh, it makes it a little easier on us. Um, honestly, we don't need the extra checkmates. We just, I, I, I'm mostly just gonna stick with uh, Twit Coin Bank at this point. All right, and of course we can turn this off if we want to uh, turn the level back to normal. Oh, that's nice. I'll take some extra coins. Uh, let's see. Is there anything in here? I don't think so. Making sure. Let's get some extra quills for sure. Oh, it's a treasure chest. What's this? All right, I'll take that. Oh, dang it. I guess we can't go up there. All right, uh, let's see what's over here. Because now we can platform up here. Oh, we got a tonic. That's nice. Tonic bound. Tick tock. Over here. I guess there's supposed to be a Fisher dude over here. He's not present yet. Over here! Ooh, a bomb! Alright, I think I know where to use this. Uh, there it is. There we go. Going here. Ooh, a tonic, nice. Tonic found! Spider Cham! Spider Cham? Spider Cham. There's whatever the something can. Alright, and as you can see, there's some more stuff. It's like a little bit of a hub. So let's let's see if we can continue on with some of the, we did unlock some other levels earlier, so let's go uh let's go find those out. Uh, Ooh, this area is flooded now, that's Ooh, we can go up here now actually. Yeah, let's go up here. It's in here. Ooh, the chest. Probably a pretty simple platforming challenge, but or it's just literally up here. That's nice. Oh, there's something down there too. Yeah, I just realized there's a chest right there. Hold on. Nice. Got some more quills. Ooh, we're actually really close to a thousand now. Nice. 
Looks like there is something else in this room, though. So let's see what else there is. Uh, what, what is out here? Ooh, all right. Ah, Shipwreck Creek. Whoa, wait. Home sweet home. Wait, what? I never discovered this. And there's Blasto from the first game. Hey, fellas. Come say hi if you've got a spare minute. Yo, I've literally never discovered this before. Let's go explore, but don't get too comfortable. Holy crap! <laughs> like, I, I'm in shock. When I first played this game, I never, I never discovered this. That is awesome. All right, Tonic Found, Noir Film. All right, so that, that, that's an example of a cosmetic one where it essentially, it doesn't actually impact the game, so to speak. It just kind of makes the game look different. But wow, that's actually really cool. All right, let's see what's inside the ship. Shipwreck Creek is where you and Laylee live, by the way. Nobody will find me here. Oh, ho! Well, if it isn't Yuka and Laylee, what do you think of my new hide at er, holiday home? A nice vacation to the shady, secluded, secret bowel of the ship has made me feel much stronger. I'd like to see Capital B try and steal me again. Please don't let him steal me again. Who are you? We know you. Wait, what, what? Did you youngins hit your heads on the way in? Why, I'm the all-powerful one book, remember? From the last game? <laughs> yeah, he, he, this is the, this is the uh, MacGuffin of the last game. Capital B tried to use my magical powers to expand his business. Luckily, you rescued my missing pages and I'm whole again. And living in perpetual fear. <laughs> Please don't let him steal me again. Are you hiding? It looks like you're hiding, like a wimpy kid's book. Is that a reference to Diary of, the Wimp of a Wimpy Kid, or am I imagining things? Er, uh, absolutely not. This cabin has ideal shelving for my enormous spine. Because he had like 150 pages. I didn't think you had one. I hope you're going to stop Capital B overtaking the Royal Stingdom. It would be bad news if he made enough Infinity Ink to do harm. Especially if he used it on my pages to rewrite the universe. Nice chatting, Mr. One Book, but we're off. All right, and there's a, there's a tonic up there that we gotta get somehow. I'm, I can't believe this. Like, it's literally the first game, or the first game's overworld. Yeah, I assume there's probably something in here. Or not. How do you get that? Oh, maybe it's like through here or something. Hmm, I gotta figure out how to get that. Well, at the very least, there's this tonic. Tonic found. GB colors. Oh, you can make the game look like a Game Boy filter. That's kind of cool. Let's get some more quills. Oh, this is so cool. I've never discovered this before. Even I'm learning new things about this game. All right, there's Blasto. Hey, fellas, what's up? Anything interesting going on? There's certainly no drama on Blasto's world right now. Nope, Kabumi? Hey, Blasto, where's your friend Kabumi? Us buddy duos need to look out for each other. Oh, she's around here somewhere. She said she wanted to try adventuring by herself for a while. You don't think she's sniffed after her own solo character game, do you? <laughs> I'll show you in the next level. Unlikely. She doesn't have a big enough nose to be a lead character. Ouch. All right, capital B. Capital B. Hey, Blasto, remember in the last game when we beat capital B and you took all the credit? Now, now, I played a vital role in that myself. Spoiler alert, he appeared for like one pagey. We beat him, and you accidentally coughed up a bomb that just happened to send him flying. Like I said, I played a vital role. You could have at least told everyone at the celebration they flew for you. Unlikely. I could hardly get a word in edgeways with all the with that with all, with all the compliments and cake people were dishing up. Yup, we both helped. Capital B was defeated, and that's all that matters. Turn around. Hey, Blasto, can you turn around for me? I think your erm um, fuse is dangling. Oh gosh, yes, please tuck that in for me. Is that a sexual joke? I've gone 897 days without an incident. Okay, so I have. A okay, I understand. So we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna blow that up. I figured that would do something. 
Alright, and let's turn you around again, because I have a feeling, um... Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I know, it is really fun to watch in the DKC. No, I want to... I want to quit there, and then do that. Okay, I guess it only worked in that direction. Because I want to know how to get that one uh, tonic. I'm not really sure how to get that. There must be something up here or something. I don't know. That's really weird. Well, regardless, I'm just glad I found this place. Because I literally never knew this was a thing. That's really cool. Right, and I guess we can access it whenever we want now. Because it's just across this bridge. Alright, and we can go in here as well. Let's see what's in here. There's a chest, alright. There's a bunch of things over here. Sorry I'm taking so long without going into a level, but I'm just... I, I just love exploring the overworld. It's just so much fun. Alright, so... Bomb. Here and miss. Oh, I guess we're not supposed to jump over there. At least I don't think so. Yeah, let's, let's, let's break these things. Break these. Okay, and yeah, this will. That's true, Han. Thank you very much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Ooh, a lot of quills. Oh, we're so close to getting a thousand. We really need a thousand. Here. Oh, I guess it's not an entrance. I guess it's literally just for a thousand quills. Alright, well, eh, at least we got a thousand quills. That's useful. Alright, all, we, we almost got a thousand. Sorry, we didn't actually get a thousand. We're close, though. Alright, let's uh, see what else we can do. Uh, there's a lever up there. I still haven't gotten that. Here. Here. Right, and this is where the thousand kill barrier is. Uh, Alright, I guess we'll I guess we'll just go up up to where Travers A wall was. Yeah, let's just go up here. Chapter six. Is that is that the chapter? Or? Uh, four, five. Oh yeah. All right. Let's see chapter six. Saw blade evade. All right. And yeah, I'm probably gonna stop around eleven thirty. That sounds about right. All right. I feel like there's something up here. No? Okay, I guess it's just a bunch of pills then. Uh, which door to go into? I guess we'll try this one. Nope, or not. Let's go in this door. Really, all that for a freaking... Yeah, that was not worth it. <laughs> Maybe there's something in here? Oh, that literally just leads us back to there. Okay. I needed to change some settings on to make sure the game ran smoothly. How many battalions do I have? Eight. There's probably something up here. 
Where's the key for this? It looks like there should be a key somewhere, but I'm not exactly sure where the key would be. Where, the, hey, where the key would be? Ow! I deserve that, that, that one. Where's the key? There should be something, but I can't... I don't see where the key would even... Where it could even show up. Alright, I guess, I guess we're not missing getting that to a point. Probably somewhere really obvious, but... <laughs> Oh, it's right there. All right. That's not that bad. Oh, wow. That enemy just killed himself. Grab these. Something down there? I feel like there's might be. Nope, alright. I figured there might be a twit coin or something, but unfortunately I was wrong. <laughs> alright, so now we can go up to oh up there. Oh no! Ah, well, now I don't have the freaking key. I gotta go back and get it. Thankfully the key respawns. That would be bad if it didn't. <laughs> That door. Alright. So here. In the door we go, finally. Whoops. Press up too early. <laughs> Seem to be doing that quite a lot. That's that wall is spiked, so obviously I'm not gonna get there. Anything? No? Okay. Let's grab this while we're at it. Damn it. Ah, damn it. I was, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. At least we have a Laylee Bell right there. I figured there'd be something up to the left. Hold on. Yeah, I knew there was gonna be. How do I get up there, though? Like, I, I can't make that jump. Hmm. All right, there's, there's probably a way to get up there, but I do not know how to do it. So I'll have to here. Nothing. Literally just. Oh, geez, almost. Yeah. Almost got crushed, that would be bad. The door. What's in this door? Yeah, those spikes are close. Well, guess we're not gonna find out that or what's in that door. Alright, so there's there's a an item. I forget what the, the gear thing is called. We want to hold on to this for a little while. It's probably going to be used for something. Let's put point number three. Okay, yeah, we're going to use it to kill this guy. Get for point number three. Oh, geez, we missed one and two. Coin up there, but I'm not sure to get it. Damn it! Okay, I missed. Whatever, I'll I'll, uh, I'll skip the. Actually, no. I, I want those. I want those feathers. Damn it! Those quills, I guess, technically. Oh, I want to get hit by the spike. more methodical. Oh, 
Okay, I think I understand what to do here. No, I don't want to go that way, actually. I want to go up here, because, oh. I thought it would be like, you know, a, uh... A, uh, uh twit coin, but no. Here. Gotta make these jumps pretty precisely. Ah, okay, that, that's gonna be a tight jump. Ah, dang it, no, I need, I need you, no, I need Laylee for that. Right, that. That jump is pretty precise, so that one's gonna be a little tough. Get all of them this time. I beg to differ. Man. Oh come on! Well, okay, I'm definitely not getting Lily back now. Oh, Lily! No, I hit myself on the spikes of the door. Dang it! Oh right, well, that was unfortunate. Oh, for the love of God! That was unfortunate. Oh yeah, we're not we're not getting all those. Alright, let's see if I can actually get it this time. Ah! How do you mm, that's tough. That's actually quite tough to pull off. Oh, okay, got it. Number four, alright. Anything up here? Or, ow! You mind? Alright, let's go in here. Alright. Uh, nope, I wanna take you and grab that. Alright, this I gotta be careful about. Actually, hmm, jump on this, see if there's anything up here. Aha! I figured there was something up there. Quills, yeah. You definitely need a lot of quills to get all the tonics, that's for sure. This is why it's important to get them all. Ah! Lately! And I'm dead! Dang it. Really? Alright, now I'm just playing poorly. You gotta just kind of platform correctly. Lily Bell. Not that that's super necessary right now. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, you know what? I'm actually gonna die because I wanna get that I wanna get that freaking coin. Yep, spike stage indeed. I beg to differ on that one, game. I beg to differ. <laughs> Let me get some of my quills back. I want that coin, damn it. Okay, I don't care, I got it. Italian Rescue. Excellent. Will Comb Pug. Nice. I will gladly take that. Yeah, we'll, we'll stream till like 11.30 and then we'll stop.
Number nine. All right. All right, let's read some of our battalion friends' bios. Will Comb Pug, the thinking man's bee, led, led into the battalion by accident. Talks big, but has never, but has never stung anybody. <laughs> All right, so this slow, this slows down time. Although I'm not really sure why you would want to do that. This one lets you climb ropes more quickly. Not really my style. And then this one literally just makes it Game Boy colors. Uh, is that this one? Uh, oh, there's this. It noir film changes the colors to make everything look really black and white. <laughs> and then of course we got Army of Eight and we don't have any paint at all. Right. So let's let's go back outside because now we have a thousand quills and we can uh, fix uh, number nine large. Yeah, exactly. We can uh, deal with that one thousand quills. Not really a paywall this time, just kind of a chest. Deal with that. This, yep. Yep, I do want to pay that. Great. I can score. You can understand Wilco because if bees sting somebody, they can die. Yeah, exactly. Although, to be fair, this game does run fast and lose with logic, so. Alright, let's see what's in here. Okay, there's another chest with some more enemies. Oh, nice. All right. That's how you get the key, I guess. Lock this. There's the purple key up there. Also, who are you? Whom goes there? Halt. Who dares approach the great Rampo's Mighty Creek? For those of you who have not played the first game, this was the boss of World 1, Ukulele. Er, hi Rampo, you seem to be blocking this water. Yeah, get out of the way, Dampo. Ouch. Such unnecessary rudeness, thou mortal pest. Great Rampo is on damn duty until final payment of mine extortionate new teeth. During thine last adventure, a pair of rapscallions coldly smashed them, you got Lele. Er, terrible. I hope you find the culprits. <laughs> if ye wish to pass, you'll have to wait six months until Great Rampo's duties are fulfilled. Six months? Rampoid, yeah. Six months? I can fill the stream myself sooner than that. Come on, Lele. I'm sure there's a way we can get him to open up somehow. Yeah, alright. So we'll, we'll, we'll find a way to deal with that later. Uh, for now we have some other stuff over here. Uh, can't exactly hit the, um, can't exactly hit that switch because the water level is too high. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's literally half a year. Let's see. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, all right. Oh, I see. So these, 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 uh, rocks essentially fill out the tunnel. So, like, that, that's how you know how the tunnel, uh, came. That. Whoops. Alright, I did not do that right. What I meant to do was grab one of these rocks. Shoot it at the lever. Then we can grab the key. And open the door. Oh god. We're gonna we're gonna blow up Rambo, aren't we? Boom. Arg! We just literally destroyed his teeth. I kind of feel bad. Kind of. Curse thou. Great Rampo will never enjoy boiled sweets again. Sorry, Rampo. I literally blew up Rampo's teeth. I feel bad. Take good care of your teeth, friend. It's very important. All right, so as you can see, now we can use the switch to... Uh, open or close the lever, and that will determine what state the lever is in. So let's do this level again. We have, uh, chapter five, Gasping Blade Grown. Uh, 
right, so I guess we'll be going back into this level. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That is not what I wanted to do, but okay. What I actually wanted to do was gut was the fight. I'm gonna die actually because I wanted to bait that enemy. Over here. So that way I could jump off of him and get up there. That that I can tell is what they wanted to do. No, I wanna Come on, game. Come on, I gotta do this again. Come on, I wanna bait the enemy. <laughs> So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to wait till he walks away. There we go. Hey, Mr. Uh, enemy Guy, over here. There we go. There's a Twit coin. Now we can progress. missed the fact that there was a spider right there, and I'm dead. <laughs> Thank God for uh, the thing that makes that saves your twin coin for us. Oh, really, game? I guess that guy's teeth hurt me. Hey, the freaking spiders. Yeah, I know, right? Definitely swinging here. Probably the key is in here. Oh, or not. Or it's just, you know, the enemy. Alright, I don't know where the key is, but I guess I missed it. Yeah, the enemy is dual. So this into this this stage introduces zip lines. If you guys have played Donkey Kong Country Tropical Breeze, you will recognize this. Because it's literally the same thing. Like look at this. This is literally the same thing as in Tropical Breeze. Like, it's the same idea. That is not what I wanted to... Hold on, I'm gonna die, because I, I messed that up. Let's let's try that again, please. I wanted to throw the freaking berry at it. That's, that's what you were supposed to do. But, or not. Oh, okay, there we go. I was like... I guess there was like a hidden platform there. Yeah, there were zip lines in like tropical freeze. Okay, this is definitely something. I want to be careful. I don't want to get by the spiders. Oh, I guess that's just a wall, all right. There we go, I figured this would be used for something. Nice. Oh no, I missed, I missed a coin, damn it. All right, wait, let me die, because I, I, I did not do that right, nope. No, I want it. Thank you. I was like, I want to die, please. Thank you. All right, because I clearly messed that up. Um, How exactly do you get that coin? Oh, I understand. There was probably like a cannon in there. All right. F. Uh, I'm honestly considering. Nah, you know what? We'll just we'll get another time. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. I know what to do. I know what to do. I just have to like press the X button, and that way I'll like slow my descent. Yeah, there's a coin in there. There we go. That's what you're supposed to do. I was like, wait, how do you get that? You, um, if you press X, then you can like slow your descent, and that way you can drop down and grab the coin. That checkpoint city, more zip lines, and I got hit. Love how the music changes for this.
be Lily back for you. That that was probably something up there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a coin. Damn it. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> that did not go well. Yeah, there's a lot of spiders in this stage. Spiders. I love this music though. Damn it, I missed that one. Nope, that is not how you get that. There we go. All five. Let's go. Nice. Alright, we got enough time. Alright, we got a team of an army of ten. See where our new, new bee is. Joe the Bee. Very original name there. And five foot coins. Excellent. <laughs> Joe the Bee. And there's number 10, obviously. Alright. We probably have enough time for one more level if I had to guess. Oh yeah, Jonesy. Oh jeez. Jonesy B, Kappa. No, don't actually. Epic Games, do not listen to this. Do not actually do that. Alright, we have enough time for one more level, so let's uh let's go into this uh forest like area. Alright, uh Oh, okay. You don't wanna hit that thing. Grr, I gotta do something about that stinking bramble. Yeah, you said it. Okay, so we can't go in there. Looks like there's a secret path out here, though. Ooh, alright. Tonic I found. Thick skin. Nice. Alright. Yes, and... Ah, we got a pagey, alright. Here comes those nice folks. Yep, we definitely want to do a pagey level. You gotta kill eight enemies. And I'm dead. Nice going. Challenge fail! <laughs> this is a sad thing. Alright, let's try that again. I gotta defeat this guy as well. You. Oh, don't, wanna, don't wanna get hit by that. There we go, got it. Challenge win! <laughs> yeah, that was a good dodge. Great job! We now have the power to alter the overworld. Watch this. AG power! Nice. And there you go. Alright. Oh, let's definitely get that. Nice. Got more of that. Unfortunately, we can't progress because of those brambles. So that's kind of a problem. At the very least, the uh, water is cleared up, though, so we can walk around here. Uh, let's see. We can use this now. Does that destroy the brambles? No. Probably will destroy something, though. We'll find a, uh, bit of stone. Definitely looks like there's something over there. And Beiji Power 2, Electric Blue Blue. Yeah, exactly. There's definitely a stone block somewhere. Oh, okay, it's right there. Got it. Grab that. Break these things to appear. Oh, and that, okay, I guess this fire berry will allow us to break the, uh, yeah, break the brambles. Right. Finally, you dummies made it to the scorch berries. 
are you calling a dummy? Hurry up, idiots. Hurl some this way. And I actually remember who this guy is. This guy is also from the first game. Grr, free at last. Grr, free at last. A honey pot. I bet he's a sweet character. Sweet, shut it! Ouch. Can't you see I've misplaced my sweet ingredients? Grr, sorry, I'm terribly cranky without my sugar quota. My stew has been on medium high for so long that it's gone all bitter. Let me just... Slurp? Yuck, yuck, terrible. Search the forest for something to sweeten me up, will ya? Eh, take that. <laughs> Yeah, the overworld, this is one of the most interactive overworlds I've ever seen. It's very comparable to something like Super Mario 3D World, actually. With uh, how interactive it is. Right. I'm gonna use the brand, the uh, Scorch Berry again. I, I think so? If you want to consider that blood, sure. That is a little disturbing now that you mention it. Uh, is there something else over here that I missed? I feel like I did. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, know. I, gotta, I gotta get that as well. Scorch berries. Ow. Okay, right, there's definitely something over here. Let's see. Right. Oi, stop knocking down my walls. Right, let's see what's here. A bunch of, uh, you know, a key. Yeah, ha, ha, you'll never get up here. I doubt that. You'll never find my secret back entrance. I literally just did. Alright, this is chapter seven, production path. Uh, where's the where's this key supposed to go though? I'm not really sure. I'm sure we'll find a way, but I'm not really sure where the key is. Oh, okay, here's where the key goes. Nice. Can you get over here? Oh, okay, you can. Nice. That. What's over here? Secret entrance. Oh, okay. I guess we'll, this will let us do this. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Because now we can essentially move this over here, and that way we can press the switch. Nice. Finally, we got we pressed that switch. All right. Now we can move over here, of course. To uh, chapter. What is this? Eight. All right. Yeah. We're gonna. We're not gonna do that though. Uh, all right. I know it's technically 11:30, but let's do let's do one more level. We want to end on a level. <laughs> Superman literally drinks his own blood. <laughs> oh god, that is disturbing. All right. Yeah. Let's do let's do one more level and then we'll um. What if I toss the berry? In there? No, that doesn't work. All right. So yeah, we'll do we'll do one more level and then we'll uh, we'll call it a call tonight. Uh. So we go over here, and then through here. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll do chapter seven, production path. And then we'll end it off there. Made some good progress though, that's for sure. All right, chapter seven, production path. Oh, that'll work. As you can see, the B thing is right up there, so. Gives us an idea of what we're aiming for. Grab that. Grab that. Uh, I'll grab this, so that way I can speed along. I did not mean to do that. There's something down there, is it literally just lava? Okay, it does look like okay, no, it's literally just lava, never mind. That's that's bad. Lava is bad, my friends. Do not hit lava. Also, don't get crushed. That's also bad. <laughs> Great start here. Great start. <laughs> Nice, we 
little smart about that. Okay, there's the first twit coin. Lava, yeah. So, so are the crushers, actually. The crushers are also lava. Nope, Lily. Okay, I can't get you when you're up there, so. Checkpoint City. Water, so that that killed me there. I forgot I didn't have Lele, so I just kind of fell. Oh, whoa! Okay, I was not expecting that either. Let's uh, let's try that again. Checkpoint. Okay, there's definitely something up there, but I'm not really sure to get up there. Watch out for these enemies. Ow, ow, no, Laylee. Thank you. There's a twitch coin right there. Checkpoint City. And I'm dead. <laughs> Literally, Checkpoint City, dead. Uh, I might need a tonic for it. That's not impossible. Or it might be easier with a tonic. I, I think you can technically get every single quick coin in the game without a tonic, but it just becomes a lot easier. Let's just go. Oh, okay, so that, that's... Alright, there's probably something over here now. Yeah, okay. There's a uh, the barrel right here. get all these oh damn it okay oh, that that was probably a twit coin actually oh damn it there's another one Lately. thank you ah, ah got cut off there Checkpoint City is the best city, you are correct. As uh, DJ Dave would say, it's a beautiful city, that Checkpoint City. Alright, let's use this to go up here. Ah, nah, I did not mean to do that. And I'm dead. <laughs> one I'm pretty sure we actually okay I guess we can walk that one too. Ah damn it. Alright well Lily down here thank you. Oh or not. Oh yeah you don't want to hit the, you don't want to hit the fire things obviously. The X drop becomes a Yuka strike yeah exactly. Okay, so it looks like there's a... Alright, it looks like there's going to be a... I'm gonna die, because I think that I have to get all the quills there, and that'll give me something if I have to guess. And 
that'll let me uh, throw like an object into that one area. Really, game? Really? Dang it. We're definitely gonna get all the uh Okay, it's not the you got it there's gotta be some sort of item. Because it looks like you can Like look at that, there, there's there's a there's a coin right there and there's gotta be an item or something, but I don't know where to get it. Of course I that's definitely not how you get it. I'm also okay, goodbye lately. It might, it might be something over here at this rate. Uh, okay, I, I, I don't know how to get that one, actually. Ooh, maybe it's... Maybe it's something up here? Ah, damn it. Well, there's the last coin. So we might as well get that. How do you get that coin? Hmm, what level is this? I actually forgot what level this is. Uh, level 7, I think. Hold on, let me, let me check. Oh, okay. Now I feel like a big dummy. You usually need like a, one of those uh, hexagonal items for the break the wall. Now I feel like an idiot. Now I know how to get it. Ow, come on, dude. It's literally, it's literally right in here. There it is. There it is, it's literally right there. I'm big dumb. There's the coin. Oh my damn it. Laylee! Alright, there we go. Now we now we have one final coin to get here. Right over here. Gotta go past the uh angle. I guess we're not getting that. At least we got the coin. You got, yeah, I got Lily just in time. Exactly. All right, well, it's all right. We got the coin, so it's no big deal. And I don't think that's a secret exit. I don't even recall there being a secret exit. Well, that, that being said, I haven't, I haven't played this game in like a year or two, so. Lily! Oh my god. She's like, she's like baby Mario from Super Mario World 2. Yoshi's Island. I swear. Alright, well, let's, let's get out of here. There we go. The Italian Rescue. There we go. Griffin Sex. <laughs> nice, 195. And we got all the coins. Oh, yeah, now we can go to uh, Production Pass Panic if we want, although we're not going to do that quite yet. Uh, we have 11 of these. Yeah, exactly. Alright, so we're gonna, we are gonna open this up, though. Just because it allows us to go up here and whatnot, and... Oh, maybe that was a secret exit, because there is a, there is a level right there. Oh, yeah, we got the tonic. Tonic found. Black and white film. Alright, I'll look how to get that secret exit later, because it looks like there is one in this level. Maybe that was how you get it, I don't know. Um, but alright, yeah, we got, uh, Chapter 7, Production Path, Panic next time. Um, alright, but with that, I'm gonna end off the stream. Uh, I do hope you all enjoyed this first episode of Ukulele and the Impossible Layer. Oh, actually, yeah, let's read the bios first. Hold on. Uh, Joe the Bee. This off-brand Dower Bee was originally named Joe Shy, but, na but got the name changed by the depollination. And Griffin Sect. Griffin Sect is one of the four bees that helped to drive the rhythm for the entire Beatalian, often with random annoying tapping of desks. <laughs> what do we get for, uh... Uh, we got black and white film, right? And then we also unlocked the uh, army of ten. And 
thick skin. Okay. So yeah, that'll... Oh, sorry, well, two more things. Uh, mock Chain is 25 Twit Coins, and then Triple Trip, Triple Tipple is just beating a level or two to play Sonic the Twit, so... Yeah, we are, we are making progress towards all these achievements. How many you got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we got 13 achievements. Not bad, not bad. Um, I honestly forgot, Shivis. I'll tell you by the end of the game when we get all 48 Vs. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, we're gonna save and quit. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first stream of Ukulele the Bottom Layer. I love this game. It is really, really fun. And I really hope that I encourage you all to at least give the game a try. Because I think there was a demo of it, if I recall. Yeah, it was definitely nice talking to you, Shivers. Alright, so with that, I'm gonna sign off just because it is getting pretty late. Now I'm probably just gonna relax for the rest of the night. But yeah, I am 112, signing out for now. I will see you all later. Have a good night, everyone.